Rock them all. Does everybody know Tom Zakarian? Huh? On guitar over here, and vocals, lead vocals. And I know Bing. Bing Burroughs on bass. Alan? Can everybody see Alan? Alan, stand up. On keyboard and vocal. And our host with the most, except for power guns a while, Timmy Kelch from MSX on drugs, ladies and gentlemen. Founding member of Rock the Mole. Now, if the music's gonna drive you away here, I, I can understand that, but there will be an incentive for you to stay. And that is we're gonna be doing a raffle right after we uh, perform a couple of songs for you. Uh, we're gonna do just a few, and uh, I guess we're gonna start off with, uh, hold on one thing, yeah, here we go. You got it? We're gonna start off with a little tune from James Taylor. Get us warmed up. Cheap this year, as we originally planned. They said, you know, I got this little band. Whack the mole. You know, somebody wanted to know a little history about that. Where, where'd that thing come from, Timmy? We're at the Nelson Show down in Orlando, Florida, and we had all the kids down there a few years back. We invited all the families down, and there was a game under the tent by the swimming pool. It's called Whack the Mole, and I told Tom. And Tom and I started playing in a suite, just playing acoustical guitars. And I said, Tom, that's the name of the next band. So that's how it got started. And whack them all. So everybody, next time you're playing that game, you're whacking them all. You remember these five professional musicians we got up here. By the way, they're also five professionals at Dino Chrysler at MSX. And we appreciate 
everything that they're doing for us. You know what, when we talked about what we would do as a set, and I think all you know I enjoy music very much, we'll find out after the set whether or not you appreciate my singing of music or not, but I do enjoy music very much, and you know what, I can't imagine doing a set without going to at least my favorite band, and I think one of perhaps the greatest bands, if not the most famous and great bands, and that's the Beatles. So here's one from the early Beatles catalog. You know, as it was originally done by the Beatles, a country swing tune. And you know, it really, it shows how much, especially, George Harrison was influenced by Carl Perkins. You know, just to kind of get back onto the didactic music, you know, bent a little bit. This next song, interestingly, was a Paul McCartney tune, and he was moved very much by gospel music in the United States. So we're going to take a shot at, at doing a little bit with, uh, with Let It Be. She is standing right in front of me 
Just rattle your jewelry. John Lennon. Hold on one second. I want to explain this song. You know, so anyway, we did our Beatles thing. Now we've got two more songs for you. And we thought that it would be appropriate, given that uh, we're in Detroit, that uh, we would do a song from a band in Detroit. Actually, I think you're probably going to do more than one, but this is one. And uh, Donnie Schmidt, who caught uh, one of the two rehearsals that we had, uh, said, you know, you got to do a newer song, you know? So, I asked my, my son Josh, who's not with us tonight, he's 14, I said, what would be a good song to do? And he said, well, you know what song I really like right now is uh, it's from a band called The White Stripes. So we're gonna take a shot at doing a, a song by The White Stripes. And if anybody feels like dancing, uh, this one may or may not be your best choice, but you know, feel like come on up and uh, you know, shake your booty. That's right. <laughs> Take your nap time right behind 
All right, we're going to stay with Detroit for the last song of this set. Thank goodness. This is a classic, you know, this is a band. Probably didn't get the recognition that it deserves. Right here out of Detroit, the Motor City. Detroit Rock City, very influential band called The Romantics. And this song was influenced by the Ramones, but also influenced an awful lot of other bands because it was a punk song that became a massive hit. And again, of all the songs that you might want to dance to, this could be one of them. So feel free if you'd like to come up in your suits. Hey, okay, yeah, see if you can get the hand claps here in the beginning, too. And then we'll have a raffle, and that's, I'm sure, why you're all still here.
famous and great bands, and that's the Beatles. So here's one from the early Beatles catalog. 